Alright, today I will be showing you how to make an Android device on a PC. Um, it's not perfect, but it does work rather well, and I'm always pretty satisfied when I'm using it, and I like to use it for gaming, because there's a lot of Android games that you just can't get on a PC. So, let's get cracking. Go on to Google, and Google search Jenny Motion. Go to the Jenny Motion page, download it, follow the instructions, and install it. While it's installing, I recommend that you go and search Google Play Store for Jenny Motion. Find the second one from July 24th, 2013. There's an answer on it that has all the links and some instructions that you can follow, but I'm going to explain how to do it as well. You want to download the ARM Translation Installer version 1.1 hosted by FileTrip and then whatever Google App Store that you would like to have for the correct version of Android that you intend to run. Uh, when in doubt, you can download them all. However, the file names are not very descriptive, so you need to rename them once they're downloaded. I downloaded mine onto my desktop, which is right here. Um, so once you have that done, take and open up Jenny Motion. Jenny Motion has a blank area here. Mine has my tablet that I just showed you. And you'll be able to add a device by clicking Add. Click the Android version that you want. I'm going to be running 4.3. And then you can click a device model, but custom tends to work pretty well seeing how you can also change the number of cores that you give the device by using Jenny Motion's uh, Oracle VM Virtual Box, which allows you to change the settings on any of your devices, giving them as much hard drive and processing power as your actual computer has. So I'm clicking Next, and I'm going to leave that all as it is. Number of CPUs is 1 at the moment will work fine. Going to check file integrity and then download, and then after it gets downloaded, then it's going to run through a couple of screens. Click next, finish, and you'll be good. Alright, once your tablet is downloaded, then you should come to something that looks about like this. Double click it and open it up. It's going to start up the virtual device, and after it starts up the virtual device, it should segue cleanly into a larger Android screen. It'll look something like this. Let that load for a second. I'm going to shrink the screen down just a little bit, and you'll see why. Alright, now, after having gone on and looked at these things a lot, I come to find that there's really nothing here. And as you'll notice, no oh, file manager, I don't want to go over here. Stop. Alright. It has some preloaded things, but really nothing's there. So, this is what you do. This is your arm thing. Take it, click it, and drag it in. File transfer. It's going to give you some poo poo ah ahs. It's going to complain a little bit. Just click OK and OK through it. This is a big file and it's going to take a few minutes to transfer. I won't make you sit through it, just give it a second. Alright, it flips up this screen, click OK, and then go from there from the rest of the file transfer. Alright, successfully installed, and then it's going to say Google Play Services is stopped. That's a good thing because we didn't have Google Play Services earlier. Alright, now. Power off the device, and then close the screen. Now we're going to restart the device, and this should this is the equivalent of restarting your computer. So I'll take you back once it's restarted. All right, and here we go. This is the tablet, and it's going to give you some pop-up information, and usually tells me that something has stopped working. I don't know why, I've tried using those and they work. Just go in, sign into your Google account, and once you sign in, you should be in good shape and you can download whatever you want. Alright, thank you.